I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week, what's popping and dropping is what's dropping and popping. Look at that. Isn't that cool? We just have some pop-up cubes and it says dropping and popping. And we have a whole area back here that we can decorate. And I just think this is super cute and neat. And how we put it down is we just fold it forward, fold this like so, and then we put our card together. So why don't we go over to Design Space and I'm going to show you all the pieces that come in the file and then we'll get started. I'll see you there. Okay guys, so here are all the basic pieces you'll need to make this card. And down here, if you're going to make the same card that I'm doing, these are the pieces I'll be using. And you can go ahead and add any additional pieces you would like to add. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project. And if you want, we can go ahead and get these pieces cut out. And I'll meet you at the craft table and we'll put this together. I'll see you there. Okay, guys, now that we are at the craft table, why don't we go ahead and get our pretty paper out. This will be our card base, and this is going to be my pretty paper that I put on top. But also, I wanted to let you guys know you can use um, two brads or magnets because you're going to need something to keep this closed. So I did try the brad and I ended up liking the magnets more. So I just use magnets here and then there's magnets under here, of course. Um, but for the brad, I just put one at the top and one here. And then you take and put like a ribbon or a string so you can hold the card together because this card has some punch to it. And so you're going to need something that will hold it closed. I did use a total of four magnets for mine. And it's just going to depend how strong your magnets are. And then also we will need three rubber bands. And this is the size that I am using. And they are size 12. One and three fourths by one and 16th. So if you want to get some of those or you have some rubber bands laying around, you don't have to go buy new. You can always tie a knot in it. But you'll need three of those. And that's all the extra things that you'll be needing. We need to hide our magnets um, on our paper. So before you lay your pretty paper down, you'll need to decide where you're going to put your magnets. Also with the prettier paper. In the file, you're going to have one pretty paper that is shorter than the other. So make sure you glue the right pieces on your card. But be <clears throat> excuse me, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and work my score lines on this and then also on my flap for my card. So let's go ahead and do that. There we have our score lines finished, worked, and you're going to notice that there is a short side and then the longer side. Okay. The shorter side, which will be the flap closest to me is our place we're going to put our little flap. Okay. So we're just going to take and put glue down here. And I'm going to glue it on the back of my card and my pretty paper will hide it. So let's go ahead and do that. You're just going to glue it up to that first score line. So this score line and then the second score line. So the one 
closest to the bottom of your little flap. So that's what it's looking like so far. This is almost too big to be on the screen here. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it. Now I'm going to put a magnet on my flap and then a magnet on this top piece. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the inside pretty paper down. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to glue my top pretty piece on because I'm going to put my magnet on the bottom. And now I'm just going to glue my back pretty piece onto my card. Now what we can do is get your magnets out if you're going to use magnets. So what I do is take me some tear and tape double sided and put the magnet magnets on here how many of you are going to choose to use and then i think about right there will work so i'm just going to get the tape off of it That's where I put those. Now what we can do is get the other two magnets. And put them on and then take another piece of tear and tape. And put it on them. And then when we close it, it'll be in the exact position it needs to be in. So I'm going to take it off and then just fold it over. There you have it. Now we can just continue on and put our pretty paper on. So let's continue with that. All right. So we have our pretty paper on and our little magnets, which working good and then we open it up and look how cute i love this colors together now we're going to move on to our boxes so if you want to get those out you should have a total of six of those and then if you want to get all the little pretty pieces out that go along with it And now that we got our pretty paper out, we are going to now fold all of our little boxes here. And everything is going to be a mountain fold except for the center score line. So we can go ahead and start there if you want. And then we can work each of the tabs at the end of this little piece here. So those. So this is what it's looking like with everything worked. And then before I move on to my next one, what I'm going to do is we're going to take and put glue here and on this side, and then we're going to sandwich it together like so. 
okay so why don't we go ahead and do that and the more evenly we can line the lines up the better our box will be together when we put it all together so it looks like that on this side and then on this side this is what that piece is looking like now we're just gonna go ahead and do the rest of these so why don't we go ahead and do that Now that we have all of our pieces glued together in the center now all we're going to do is take two of these and we're going to take our tab with you want um the mechanism part that will hold the rubber band facing up on both of them and then you're going to take a tab and put it the opposite end so we have a bare end down here like so and then we're just going to line it up and we'll put our little flap down and glue it to our mechanism here on the other side i did just snip the edges here just for me because i have a hard time lining things up so i can see these lines to match them up um, better because the better we can line everything up the better our box when we put it together so i'm going to go ahead and put glue on this and then fold it down and you can try tape i tried it the tape i have did not work very well but if you have some good sturdy tape it would definitely work for this so we're just going to put the flap on this side and if you can see the score line how the lines are matching up and that's that's what we want so let's go ahead and do the rest of these now we have those done now what we're going to do is <clears throat> i'm going to take the first one i started with that i put the glue on the tab first because it will be um, drier and then we're going to take our rubber band here and i like to wrap it one time around so make like a little loop like that there's the other end and i'm gonna have it doubled on this end The double loop that I just did. So you should have something that looks like that. And then we're going to just put our other end around it. So it looks like that. Okay. Then you'll just line everything up. And we are going to fold this flap down on this side. And glue it to the opposite end so there's our tab and we're going to put glue on it and line it up like so so i'm just pushing it together you can see my little two flaps together face like that this flap down put glue on it and then we're just going to put this flap down And so we have something that's looking like this now let's let this dry as we do the other ones you don't want to wrap it around your finger you can definitely just wrap it the two additional times around your little tab there
have all those glues. I'm going to go back to um, the first one I glued together. And then if we pull our box and make it flat like so, you're going to have resistance with the rubber band in the middle. But this is how we want it. Okay. Then I just like to lay mine flat like this. I'm going to fold the triangle back and then fold this tab down. Now, this tab is not how I like it, so I'm just going to trim a little off the edge over here because when I lay it down, it's a little close to my box, and it's probably because of how I glued it. So I'm just going to cut a little off to make it lay where it's not hitting the box and then glue our little flap down and then because this one is not on the right side i like to move over to the one that's facing up already and then fold it down and put a little glue and then i just flip it over and do the same thing again Once we have it dry, we can push it up and we have our cute little boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the boxes. we have our boxes made so then what I like to do is if you push your sides but I want to push my tabs on the side that are cut I want to push them in and then after I push them in I lay it flat and then we can take our foam folder or whatever we have Now we have this done and we need before we put our pretty paper on we need to figure out which way we want to set these okay so let's get our card base back out and we're going to open it up and we want our tab facing towards us and you'll need a pencil so we're just going to figure out how these boxes, when we push it, are laying, okay? So for this bottom, if you're doing all three of the cubes, for this bottom one, we want it to push to the back, like so, okay? So this will be our top, our front, and our bottom. And this just helps us so when we go to lay this down. And we want the same thing for this box on this side. Okay, so that's laying back. So this will be our top, front, and then our bottom. Now this one, we want it to go forward. Okay, so now that's coming forward. So this is our top top and for this one i put top top so i know the two the difference and then our front and then our bottom so now that we know that 
keep that in mind when you're decorating. And what I usually do is leave the tops off of it and till I get to the part where I know for sure which one I'm placing where. Okay. So however you need to work it out to remember where these need to go. So now what we can do is we need to take our pretty paper and put them on and you just need to choose your pieces. And what you can do is I just take my finger and push this up and then pick whichever one I'm putting on and glue it down. So I'm not going to put my solid piece on the top so I know which one is which. Okay, so let's go ahead and put all of our pretty paper on. Okay guys, so we got all our little decorations on except for our top. That's how I'm keeping up with how it's supposed to lay in the card. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put my ABC on my cubes. Okay? Now let's get our card base back out and we are going to be placing our boxes in our card. Now if you want to decorate the front, now might be the time before we do this because once you put this in, it's not going to be like a flat surface anymore you're gonna have the lumps and the bumps of the card in there so just give me a heads up about that but if you're ready what we're gonna do is i know my a comes to the front okay and then my b and my c lay back this way right so you can put your boxes anywhere in your card as long as it's not going past this score line this score line or outside your box and if you want you could take a little pencil and mark it so you know where to place it and then the same thing with the c one so about like that is how i'm going to place my b and c so what you'll do is on the b for bottom you're going to take glue and put it all over it and place it down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there we got it on the card. Now I'm going to put my C on. Looking so cute. Now what we're going to do is put our A on. So on my A, 
we're going to place it on this box, on the two boxes, like so, okay? Now, however you want to place it is okay. It needs to go between the two boxes. But we're only going to put glue. So if this is how I have my box placed, right? So you can see the side. Now, I'm going to pretend like there's a line here. And we're only going to place glue on this side of the box. Okay? So just right in here so that's not completely dry so what i'm going to do is push my two boxes down and then this one forward and put some pressure on it there we go our abc blocks now i'm going to finish up the rest of my card and then i'll be back to show you what I did, so I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, guys, so here is the almost finished product. It says popping bottles it just took on a whole new meaning and then we have this <laughs> baby bottle open in here and then we open it up we have congrats and little feet and this and the little feet i'm going to add to the file i know it's not in there but it will be added so you can use it and then we have little abc on our blocks and our little baby buggy bottle and a rattle. And then, of course, we can turn it over. And I did a little stroller on the back where you can write a message if you want a personal message to somebody. But I didn't forget, y'all. We need to add our little sign to the top. So... I cut a piece of acetate that is one inch by four inches long and you can adjust it to however you want but I'm gonna put mine here and then the little rectangle shape that's in the file that's what this is for for your sign and then you just need to figure out where we can lay it with out it being like coming outside of here so we're gonna need to go down like that because we got to remember we're putting something on top so what I'm gonna do is first little go add my little um, baby to the top of this so I'm just gonna a little glue on the back of it. and you don't have to glue it in the center on the other one I did I kind of glued it at a slant so it's kind of wherever you would like to put it so I'm gonna put some tape at the bottom here so I got my tape on there and I think I'm just gonna center it right here like so and then take my little sign let's see if that'll work you just don't want it going past your um lip of your card right here your two little score lines so what i'm gonna do i think because we won't see it is put a little line about where i want it to be 
and then I'm just going to put some, well, we, what we could do is, so we know, is draw a line on this side and this side, and we can erase that, so we know where to put the tape. Okay, so I got the tape on there. And we are just going to put it on our acetate back here. We have our little, oh, let me erase our line. There we go. That's how it's looking. Now let's try her out and see if it works. Push it down, push it forward, shut a card, and look at that. We did it! Yay! Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Bam! It says, baby, welcome. I just think this is so, so stinking cute. Did you guys hear about the mother who gave birth to her baby while she was in the sky? Well, I guess you can say that the baby was airborne. <laughs> guys, I just want to thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye!